Hi, so there are a lot of protests going on in Iran and uh, here is some footage from three months ago in November 2022 and here's some new footage of the same uh, protests ongoing so it has been at least three or maybe even four months since the protests started and they are still ongoing the protests that are ongoing now have actually started on the 16th of September 2022 so they're ongoing for five months and they were a direct uh, result of the death of Gina Amini uh, who has been arrested for allegedly violating the hijab regulations and According to eyewitnesses, she has been severely beaten by guidance patrol officers, an assertion which is constantly being denied by Iranian authorities. The government obviously responded with loads of brutality, which rather than suppressing actually uh, helped expand the protests both in Iran and internationally. Unlike in previous protests in Iran, which were about economics or election results and have been uh, suppressed successfully, quote unquote, uh, this particular protest is not going to end in any actual uh, victory or even concession from the Iranian government and the Ayatollah. Uh, they've been ongoing for five months which really shows that these uh, women who are protesting, eh, uh, it's primarily women, have a lot of courage and bravery uh, in order to rebel against uh, what they rightfully see as oppression and injustice. And this is obviously going to end as uh, the uh, overthrowing of the Ayatollah, the religious leader of Iran, which is actually one of the uh, goals of the protest. It's the toppling of the Iranian regime, the dissolution of the morality police and uh, reforms in the government, among other things. So here's a question that I'm going to answer. What's happening exactly and what will happen next? Well, the first one I've already answered and the second one I'm going to answer right now. What will happen next? Well, I've talked about how the protesters want to overthrow the government and the Ayatollah, but there are two potential endings. The first is exactly that. The goals of the protesters have been met and they uh, seize control of Iran and set up a democratic government that cares about the rights of everyone, including women and children. Or two, the police brutality has gone so far that the protesters give up and go home. Now, the government sort of knows what the protesters have protested for and they're trying to create a sort of compromise in the background and that compromise is then going to be enacted for a couple of days and then uh, gotten rid of again basically a compromise only for a couple of days and then the dictator decides what uh, that it's basically against religious rules and they have to put the law back that was abolished or changed but I do really hope that the, uh, the protests will end in the first wave, that the protests will get that way along and just change the way at least that Iran is governed and uh, that Iran will become a democracy and more Western oriented as well. But I don't know what to say about it right now because the protests are just getting started and they'll probably go on for months or even years uh, continuing into the near future. Uh, see you next time, bye bye! I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.